is a Russian asset is anything but innocuous and are entirely false. Again, such assertions are conjecture, supposition, projection, and allegations, but none of them are facts. For example, Mr. Schiff, the ranking member of this committee, asked, is it a coincidence that Roger Stone predicted that John Podesta would be the victim of a Russian hack and have his private emails published, and did so even before Mr. Podesta himself was fully aware that his private emails would be exposed? To be clear, I never made any such prediction. I want to know where I predicted this. Can Mr. Schiff read us the exact quote and source from which I predicted the hacking of Podesta's email? Can Mr. Schiff even come up with a documented quote where I used Podesta and email in the same sentence before it happened? My tweet of August 21st, 2016, in which I said, trust me, it will soon be Podesta's time in the barrel, hashtag crooked Hillary, must be examined in context. I posted this at a time that my boyhood friend and colleague, Paul Manafort, had just resigned from the Trump campaign over allegations regarding his business activities in Ukraine. I thought it manifestly unfair that Podesta not be held to the same exact standard. Note that my tweet of August 21, 2016 makes no mention whatsoever of Mr. Podesta's email, but does accurately predict that the Podesta brothers' business activities in Russia with the oligarchs around Vladimir Putin, their uranium deal, their bank deal, their Gazprom deal, would all come under public scrutiny. Podesta's activities were later reported by media outlets as diverse as the Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg. My extensive knowledge of the Podesta brothers' business dealings in Russia is based on the Panama Papers, which were released in early 2016. They reveal that the Podesta Brothers had extensive dealings in Russia. The tweet is also based on a comprehensive early August opposition research briefing provided to me by investigative reporter Dr. Jerome Corsi, which I then asked him to memorialize in a memo that he sent to me on August 31st, all of which was called from public records. There was no need to have John Podesta's email to learn that he and his presidential candidate were in bed with the clique around Putin. In fact, factcheck.org, a news organization funded by the Annenberg Foundation, reported, quote, there is nothing in the public records so far that proves Stone, a political operative and longtime Trump associate, predicted the Podesta email hack. Now let me address the charge that I had advanced knowledge of the timing, content, and source of the WikiLeaks disclosures from the DNC. On June 12, 2016, WikiLeaks publisher Julian Assange announced that he was in possession of the Clinton DNC emails. I learned this by reading a tweet on Twitter. I asked a journalist who I knew had interviewed Assange to independently confirm this report, and he subsequently did. The journalist assured me that WikiLeaks would release this information in October and continued to assure me of this throughout the balance of August and all of September. This information proved to be exactly correct and accurate. I referred publicly to this journalist as an intermediary, go-between, and mutual friend. All of these monikers are equally true. In the March 20th public session of this committee, Mr. Schiff asked former FBI Director Comey, are you aware that Mr. Stone also stated publicly that he was in direct communication with Julian Assange and WikiLeaks. The way the question was asked was clearly designed to cast me in a bad light, yet I have never said or written that I had any direct communications with Julian Assange and have always clarified in numerous interviews and speeches that my communications with WikiLeaks was through the aforementioned journalist. Again, Mr. Schiff is guilty of a false assertion. The fact is that during the March 20th Comey hearing and many times subsequently, members of this committee and even the Democratic nominee for president felt that they could go into the public square and make similar charges without any substantiation or basis of fact.